Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Charlie. And I'm James. And we're busted, and you're listening to Morgan Richards on Radio Cardiff. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff, backstage at the Newport Centre here, and joined now by a band who truly one of a kind. It's, of course, our favourite Dawson's Geeks. It's the wonderful Matt, James and Charlie from Busted. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, guys, you right? Good, man. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice to see you again. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? <laughs> Just a bit. Yeah. yeah we're so having fun, man. We're really good, man. We're really good. We're kind of about six gigs into the tour, so it's um, still fresh and new and exciting. So it's, um, it's well, great. Funnily enough, we played our first ever show in Newport mm. in this very venue mm. 14 years ago. Wow. Mm. So we feel like old bastards. Yeah. Yeah, I can see this. I was actually at that gig. Were you? So were you really? Yeah. Wow. So does that make you feel like an old bastard as it well? It does. Then? Just a little bit. Feels like yeah. everything's come full circle. Yeah, it's well. a circle of life. <laughs> See? Yeah. I mean, Elton John got it right, didn't he? He did, he got it right. <laughs> In the Lion King Disney film. <laughs> well, fantastic. Uh, so, guys, we have to start with Night Driver. Who thought 13 years later you'd actually have new music out now? I'm sure it's just been both a surreal and joyous journey making material together again and getting it out to everyone. Yeah, it's been amazing, man. I mean, it, it, like we've all said, you know, independently that we never thought Busted would really get back together, you know, so um, so to get back together in the best way possible, which was new music bringing us back together, you know, I mean, that's the reason that we did this, you know, we kind of did that tour last year with the plan to go and make new music, you know, so it was, um, that's what, made this all possible and all exciting because we knew we had this bunch of songs that we were really excited about and um, and that's what Night Driver is, it's just kind of like where we are right now. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> and this material is so different from anything the band or all of you have ever done before. Did it feel like one of the main attractions almost starting again with a whole new side and influences when you decided to give Busted another go and you start writing back in Philadelphia? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, you know, the thing is, is that um, I think what was great was uh, it gave us, we had this whole fresh reason to get excited about our band again, you know, it was a fresh approach to the music, um, and it made it feel new again, do you know what I mean? It wasn't, it didn't feel like we were going over old ground, it shouldn't feel that way, it just felt like it was moving forward, it's like progressing and that's the way we wanted it to be and that's what we wanted to do <laughs> so yeah so it's so i think that's i think it's it's been it has been it very natural i think it'd be easy for some people to believe oh you know it's just you know other people have told them to do it and they just do it but it's not like that you know we just we were all here because we want to be and we're really excited about our new music yeah well fantastic and with those influences, for me, there's so many elements of loud synth, saxophones, a real 80s pop at times, and some kind of movie soundtracks. Uh, is that a fair representation of how you've all evolved and grown over the years? Yeah, I think that's kind of a bit of a common ground, you know, I mean, I, I think we've all got kind of very different musical tastes, but I think one thing that brings us together is kind of our kind of early influences and what we got into later in life from that mm. era you know so it's um i think the 80s made some just incredible pop music and what we wanted to do was make a kind of timeless sounding pop record yeah. that you can kind of you can play in 20 years and it still sounds great you know we kind of didn't want to kind of follow any trends or kind of get involved in anything you know we just wanted to make something great that's exactly correct yeah oh, fantastic and was there, with that, was there a clear vision of this is what you wanted the new album to be from the start? Or was there any no expectations just going into the studio and seeing what happens? There wasn't really any expectation at all. We didn't write any demos before we went over there. Hmm. We just went in, set up a lot of instruments. I mean, we made the album in a way that none of us have ever made an album before. Like, usually when I make albums, personally, I'll always demo stuff up pretty, pretty well and then take that to the studio and then you redo everything. But with this, we just kind of recorded as we went and songs just came to life. And within a day, a song would be written and finished. So it happened quite fast. But That's was... crazy when you think about it, isn't it? Yeah, like, uh, it well, is the way we've all worked previously, like we would literally write the song first when we got in the studio. And by the end of that day, we were taking it home on a CD to listen to in the car, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah. And I think 
the first time we got in the studio together there was zero expectation whatsoever and I think as as the more time we spent in the studio the clearer the idea of our album became do you know what I mean mm. the more songs we got the, the further we delved into it the clearer the picture was and we knew you know the last songs that we wrote for the album Night Driver and Kids with Computers I think mm. are some two of my favourites because okay. I feel like we we really got you know, it, it in a way, what I think would have been nice is if we could have just kept going, you know? <laughs> um, I, that's, I always feel that way. You kind of reach the end of the album and you wish you had another, you know, two weeks or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And with that, I think I read somewhere that a lot of the final projects from the album was really taken from takes first off, just as you recall, they ended up straight on the record. Yeah, I think that t- kind of took us all by surprise. I mean, you kind of go in there and you kind of, you'd lay something down and you kind of go, oh, that will do for now. And John would be like, no, that's the take. It's great. It's great. Come out. You know? so that's, the, that's the demo, right? It's like, yeah, whatever. If that's yeah. what you want to call it. Then. Yeah, that's what you want to <laughs> call it. Not, You're not going to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, and it was real, it really was just capturing a moment. Like, all yeah. those songs, pretty much everything is the first time we did it. You know, Sometimes so. the first time you do something is the best time. Okay. Yeah. I find writing, if I'm just sat there with a the mic and I'm just spitting some melody ideas, you could just talk something and, this, uh, and, uh, and something sounds cool. And it's like you never really get it that way again because it came out of your brain. Like, yeah, untapped. yeah, totally. yeah, yeah. That's why I think it's really great just to have like a handheld mic the in the studio yeah. live. And if you want to s- just get on it and just yeah. put something down, I think you can capture really good stuff that way. Okay. It's yeah. amazing how quickly it happens because when you start writing and it's like you're just there with a notepad or you're writing ideas down or humming things to yourself. I mean, kids and computers came out. Yeah, a lot, a lot of that stuff will like. Won't, you won't remember what no, you, you did. You know. mm. There can be tiny little permutations to melodies. That someone sings something, and I'm like, that's awesome. And then you try to remember it, it's like, it's not the same. It's got a tiny little change. So uh, everything should be recorded. From the moment you get to the studio, just have mics set up. Because then you can just go back and listen, reference, reference anything. You know? Yeah. Okay. Good thing to do. And uh, saying that, in a way, is it almost like you've become a band within another band at some points? Because the three of you together, are always going to be busted, but you've really changed the way of how people have perceived you from the past. You mean if busted is the kinder and <coughs> we're now the toy and son? Yes. <laughs> That's a I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I really feel like, um, you know, this is, um, like we say, it, I, I kind of said it <laughs> recently, you know, I kind of feel like this is like a new thing. Yeah. You know, we, we just happen to be, it feels like a brand new band with an existing fan base, which is just the most awesome thing to be in, you know, mm. like, um, it really feels like we're starting something brand new, and um, like we're already talking about the next record, and we can't wait to start making that. So, um, there's so definitely a, it's definitely a double-edged sword when it comes to that. There's a positive and a negative because some people will think, "Well, you've ch- you've changed so much, should you not have started with a new band name?" Mm-hmm. So I think that's I don't buy into that because I think we are, as a three are busted, yeah. and bands evolve all the time. So it's like we actually evolved for ten years outside of yeah. this band, and. So when we come back, it's, you know, we get, we're obviously going to be different people with different um, creative ideas than we had, you know, the, 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 we had the first time around. So yes. it's a, it is a natural progression. It just hasn't happened in people's faces. It's happened in yeah. other projects. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, I think, I think also, I think also, people have to. I think, I mean, there'll be people that you know won't understand and they won't really care. But the, I think if there are people out there that want, that do care about understanding, do you know what I mean? I think they should know that there's an awful lot that went on that wasn't really for them to, to see. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, there was a big spotlight shining on the band from 2002 to 2005, and the majority of our fans saw that. They the saw, majority of the, they of saw, the country saw that. Yeah, they saw, they, saw, they saw how it started, they saw how that episode ended. And then there's this enormous, like, massive, like, long, you know, period of time where uh, they don't know how things evolved or what went on yeah. in a lot of those years we do projects the people that want to seek it to find it will find it yeah but and you know it's not it's not it's in people's faces as well and and we've all we've all been doing things and, it, and it's like it's just you know for some reason you know it, it worked out that there's this dark period you know where it's not as it's not as clear do you know what i mean mm-hmm. and i think if people saw all that but a lot of stuff went a on. lot of this a lot of uh, <laughs> if they knew that whole story then everything that's going on now would make perfect sense he knows the story yeah yeah <laughs> no, no for the people that don't though do you know what i mean yeah okay fair enough 
And with all that, what's really next for Busted now? I mean, you've done the big Comeback Arena tour, released Night Driver and this intimate run. But what's really the plans with everything going forward next? Uh, well, we're gonna do some writing in the summer. Hopefully get some, uh, maybe even get a new single out by the, by the end of the year. Um, and then, you know, we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep making new music. Keep making new music, keep touring. Keep doing it, man. As long as people come to the shows, we'll keep we'll keep touring. You know? Just just gonna yeah, we're just gonna be a band. We're just gonna like write songs and play shows. I think we've 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 established that we're back. You know, we've got a new album. Um, we're touring with the album, and then we're just gonna keep making music that and we like. Trust that you're making another album. Yeah. <laughs> you do another tour. We're just gonna just gonna and do it. And just, their friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just do what comes naturally. Okay. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, uh, that's about it. Uh, cheers, guys, for taking time out and having another quick chat with me. Thanks, man. Thank you very yeah, much. Thanks for coming down, man. Good Pleasure and hopefully in catch with you guys again very soon. Great. Great. Are you yeah, watching mate. the show? Yeah, of course. Nice. Wicked, man. Cheers. Thanks, mate.